Hey, could you keep it down? Georg Kraus, a 31-year-old mechanic, snapped at his two boys who were just laughing and playing. In frustration, he resorted to slapping them, hoping to silence them. But those slaps weren't just discipline. They were the tipping point for Olesia, his 29-year-old wife. She couldn't bear it any longer, so it's time to act, posting photos of her boy's swollen cheeks on her Facebook, prompting her sister to call the cops. That was back on June 21st, 2018. When the police arrived at their home in Gunzenhausen near Nuremberg, Germany, they told Georg he had to leave. His history of violence, dating back five years when he once threatened Olesia with a knife, was too much to overlook. And Olesia was genuinely afraid for her safety. Angrily, Georg signed some papers, agreeing to stay away and handing over his keys to the flat. But even with the ban in place, Georg couldn't stay away from them. He sneaked back into the apartment several times over the next few days, leaving Olesia terrified. In her fear, she turned to her brother, Oleg Kaiser, for support. Oleg stepped in, trying to defuse the tension. He struck a deal with Georg to take his belongings, arranging to meet him outside to hand over the clothes without involving Olesia or the police. It seemed like things were settling until that one fateful morning. On June 26, 2018, at 5.35 a.m., Oleg was awake by a call from Georg who urgently needed his work clothes. Oleg gathered the clothes and waited by the entrance, unaware that Georg was already inside the building. A neighbor across the yard spotted Georg, dressed all in black, sneaking in without a key. Georg hid until Oleg passed by his hiding spot, not aware of his presence. With the faulty door on the third floor, Georg slipped inside the flat unnoticed. In less than two minutes, Georg unleashed unimaginable horror. He ended the lives of Olesia and their three innocent children, Mikael, Dima, and little Anastasia. It was a senseless tragedy that left everyone questioning why. Oleg heard the chaos and rushed upstairs, only to come face to face with Georg, holding a bloodied kitchen knife, his hands and arms soaked in blood. I saw him standing there holding a knife at the bedroom door, Oleg said, his voice heavy with grief. When he saw me, he turned and leapt from the balcony. And as I approached, I saw the horrifying scene. My sister's throat had been slit and the children were lifeless. He cut the throats of them all. Georg's reaction was erratic as he jumped from the balcony. You ruined my life! he said before taking the fatal jump. Some speculated he was trying to flee rather than end his own life, but I don't think so. Police discovered Georg injured on the ground below, his body broken with a fractured pelvis and punctured lung. Beside him lay the bloodied knife, a grim testament to the tragedy that had happened, and he lived after all. In May 2019, Georg faced the district court for sentencing. Oleg didn't hold back in his testimony. The cowardly wretch berated my sister, choked her, and hit the children over small matters. This coward only feels strong when dominating women and children. In a rare move for Germany, Georg received a life sentence with a recommendation for no parole. There's a special place for lifers at Straubing Prison, the judge remarked. That's where you belong. It's what you deserve. Georg remained silent throughout the sentencing, showing no remorse for the loss of his family. In the gaze of the ancient gods, you are guilty. 